So today I was thinking, is there a cheaper way to build a NAS? And then I looked on the internet about the options out there available and then I found Raspberry Pi 5 and apparently you can do more than NAS. So this is a mini computer which costs around $50 or £50 based on uh, what hardware you want in there. This one is the latest Raspberry Pi 5 but you can also have Raspberry Pi 4 uh, which will also work just fine. So I was mentioning NAS, what other things this Raspberry Pi can do? And that's a Kodi media player, Plex media player, smart home automation, so you can automate things in your home. You can build your own smart photo frame or smart mirror. So basically you can turn this computer into anything and connect it to a screen and you have a smart solution available to you. So I was curious what else you can do with Raspberry Pi 5 and I looked up the most popular use cases and obviously the most popular thing is a media center. So you can install Plex, Kodi or SMC, something like that. People also tend to do uh, retro gaming on these things. Uh, home automation, which I already mentioned, uh, you can have a small web server. That's what people choose to have on this thing. You can have your own PI hole, which is ad blocker if you install this in your home. All your network will be uh, routed through this device and filtered um, so that all ads will be removed from your YouTube videos that you watch or uh, websites you visit. All the ads will be removed. Maybe this is also something we could try later on. We will also tend to use it for a VPN server, even some AI, machine learning, home security system like Motion, iOS, or some people use it as a computer. It's a very weak device to use it as a desktop computer, but there are certain things you can do like web browsing. So the question is probably where I'm going to install this uh, in. You could connect a USB cable, a power cable. So you may wonder how do we connect this thing? So th this particular model that I have has now power cable included in the package, but some of them will. Some of them come with a case already. But in this video, we're going to be installing this into a desk PI Rackmate T1. We got this rack cabinet sent from this uh, desk PI brand, which originally is made to house this Raspberry Pi device. So maybe I'm going to make a video series about Raspberry Pi. And uh, this particular video will be more focused on this rack, uh, how good it is to house this and is how easy it is to connect and manage all these things in this rack. Then maybe in future videos I'm going to make uh, different things like how to install different software and turn this thing into all those things that I mentioned earlier. But this video is going to be more about building a rack. So if you get one of these racks from Desk PI, you will receive it pre-built already. I was playing a little bit with it already, so the things I installed already is cable manager and uh, power uh, block. So this is a block-based rack solution. The case is pre-built, but other things you can easily screw in. Add them, remove them, move them somewhere else in this rack depending on your setup you may want to have power at the bottom or the top you might have your patch cables connected also somewhere nearby you can add additional shelves cable organizers and things like that so as i said you can add or remove these components to this rack by simply removing two screws that's all it takes and you can slide these modules in or out so these are also things that are included so you'll get this power block. So power module has seven power ports on one side and seven ports on the other side. You can have a switch to switch this particular uh, part of the connection on or off. So with this switch, you can power off a port seven on either side at the same time. So if you flick that, the power from both sides will be disconnected. You also get two types of cables. One is shorter if you need to reach something halfway through the rack. And you also get a longer cables that will reach all to the bottom or to the top. You also have these end bit converters. So if you needed this connection, you can just plug it in and you get this different connection. You can choose 
how many uh, cables do you need to connect and what sort of uh, power management you need. So if you need to power something on or off at the same time with this switch, you'll be connecting those cables using the same port, which is, for example, channel seven on either side. So it's very similar with LAN patch uh, module, where you can connect your LAN cables um, from outside to inside the box. So this patch cable unit has ports from outside and inside. So obviously you also get two lengths of cables, one that will reach to the top or bottom, from the top to the bottom of this uh, rack, or, and the one that will go halfway through, or the cables that you can use internally. So you can connect internal cable from one side, which will go inside the unit, and external cable on the outside. So you can obviously have a switch as well, uh, slotted in one of these bays on this rack solution. So you can connect all the devices to the switch already inside the rack cabinet. And then you also get this um, cable organizer. So all your LAN cables, power cables can go through this and they don't make too much of a mess. So you can choose where you want to install it. And this is actually pretty much the way you'll receive this unit when you order one. Uh, you will have these uh, cover plates that serve no purpose but just cover certain things. Uh, this top shelf is uh, pre-built already, pre-installed. But you can also have additional shelf if you needed somewhere for a switch or a NAS maybe to be installed in your uh, rack cabinet. So you can just use two screws and mount it in. At the front you will have these two resting units where you can rest the shelf on so it's stable and safe. You will also get a bag of different screws. This is for mounting a motherboard because you can use uh, these mini PC motherboards to mount them into this unit. It's so like micro ITX and, and things like that. So you can either screw those motherboards to this shelf, or if you want to install something smaller like me, uh, you can use this shelf on the top. You can either install multiple Raspberry Pis in there, or multiple motherboards, or you can simply install hard drives in one of those shelves. You also receive two of these adapters, so it's gonna simplify the cable management and connections in general. So when you install your Raspberry Pi, so this thing will connect through USB-C and micro HDMI. This will give you ability to connect all the cables from the front, which is HDMI and USB-C. So you don't need to run those cables to the side. So that's a very handy adapter. You will have two of these included in this solution. So let's uh, install that Raspberry Pi into this rack. You can use these yellow screws that are included in a bag to secure it in a place. I would recommend taking the shelf out before you want to install this Raspberry Pi. If you are too lazy, just like me, you can first attach these uh, screws to the board before you put it in the shelf. So I'll put back the patch unit and let's put back the power adapter unit as well on the top. So if, you, so if you have a small PoE switch, you could place it on one of those shelves and then connect it to your Raspberry Pi. This is a video about Rackmate T1 case, how you would install Raspberry Pi in there and uh, how you can have these units mounted in different parts of this rack cabinet. Uh, it's a really lovely case, very well vented uh, because you have open uh, space on both sides and you can also have these glass panels on the side so you can see lights blinking inside and, and it looks nice and stylish. It's very light, aluminium based frame uh, with a vent on the top and the bottom and obviously the sides. So if you need some smart home or multimedia or whatever multi-project solution where you need a house for it, where you put all these components in, 
this mini rack cabinet is really nice to keep it on your desktop. Obviously it's too small to house bigger switches like um, 24 port switches and things like that or even rack mount uh, NAS units but uh, anything to do with um, home projects, smart homes, Raspberry Pi or mini NUC PC or Mac mini uh, solutions that could uh, be placed into this case. Even if you wanted to place some hard drives and build your NAS server, you could still use this case. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to come up with another video where I actually plug in uh, and connect this Raspberry Pi and turn it into some sort of solution. Obviously, if you want to see those videos, um, please subscribe and you'll be notified when they come uh, available to you. Otherwise, see you next time.